Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Somebody here may want to make an offer, okay? Or you want to make an offer. I feel like someone has something to say. But the Ten of Swords is here. The Ten of Swords, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. The Six of Pentacles. That's equal give and take. It's reciprocity here with the Six of Pentacles. Generosity. And then the Page of Cups. Somebody is wanting to open their heart to being generous. But I feel like someone right now with the Ten of Swords is here. They're at the end of a really tough situation. And they're in recovery. But this is like when someone is finally like free from a situation. And they don't have to actually be in another situation especially if this is romantic but someone is in recovery so it feels like something has already been released but look you have the sun and then the ten of cups the high priestess the chariot and then release wow the knight of swords and then the three of cups so somebody has analyzed the situation after going within resting and retreating and the seven of swords is here somebody now knows the truth about something that has been happening in the background but you have 10 10 here this has been coming out for like two weeks 10 10 10 10 every everywhere <clears throat> the six of pentacles the ten of swords the ten of cups you have the sun here with the high priestess so there is going to be victory and success for someone who chooses to be patient and wise someone's patience is being tested i'm also picking up too where it's like someone here is afraid of love afraid of peace okay um there's a need to release whatever this ten of swords is this painful ending or situation it's time to release it we do have the full moon in Pisces, which is happening on tomorrow, August 30th. It is a super moon. I feel like this is going to be a major release of things that have been um, lingering, especially in the subconscious. Now, you know, full moons is going to bring out the crazies and all of that. But if you really are using the energy of the full moon correctly, it's a time for a lot of cleansing and releasing for you to move forward. If someone has a painful situation, like I said, in their subconscious mind that is causing a bit of a, a challenge in their actual reality. <clears throat> My throat was not doing this before. Someone wants to say something. You have the page of swords here, the hermit, and then the four of swords. And all of these cards, there is a male on them so we could be talking about a masculine here someone is is seeing the truth now though about some type of plot or plan that would have had them in the cold the ace of wands is here and the magician there's something here that has been rooted in manipulation maybe even magic but someone is manifesting a really really passionate new beginning the ace of wands is here with the sun the high priestess and the magician i mean hello like somebody literally has a magic wand in their hand the question though is are you using it are you using it this nine of wands here is saying be be resilient you have a lot of angelic guidance and protection around you and they're saying hey you have the power to manifest whatever you want right now the Four of Swords, again, it's something, a, a need to go within and see that, okay, yeah, you've been through the fire, but you made it out. The Hermit is here with the Four of Swords. There's a lot of self-discovery, self-awareness, a lot of growth, maturity, wisdom. But someone, like I said, is in recovery. You're recuperating from a, a very, very, I'm going to say, painful ending of, of a release. <clears throat> Wow. July 13th could be significant for somebody. July 2nd, July 13th, July 19th. 
September 4th could be significant, which is coming up in a few days. It's just a few days after the full moon. So this full moon is possibly going to reveal some type of truth to a person. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords usually means that there is some type of scheme, but I feel sh strongly that someone has been worried about being deceived in some type of way and there is some type of like insight or awareness is coming in about this because now someone is becoming very determined now to have this ten of cups and this three of cups somebody wants to celebrate somebody wants you know friendship fellowship um somebody wants love they want to be blessed in the area of love and family and relationships in their life Someone is very motivated right now by the celebration of life and love it, and heavy emphasis like on soul, family and family. Somebody is finally, it's all right here in the middle. It's like you have the six of pentacles with this high priestess, the sun, the magician, the ace of wands. Something extremely magical is about to happen. I mean, magical, the high priestess, the sun, the magician and the ace of wands. That is pure magic. Someone has had some type of magic, uh, a spiritual gift or something since a child. And it looks like somebody is now stepping into this, into their, like their priesthood. Somebody is about to unleash some kind of magic. Wow. Wow. Somebody also is going to give birth to an extremely gifted child. I mean, really, really gifted. It's like if somebody here has feared tapping into their own spiritual gifts or their anointing, it's going to be passed down to a child. <clears throat> you have the magician, which is card number one, the high priestess, and then the ace of wands and the sun. Yeah, somebody here could be expecting a little girl. More boy, it doesn't matter, but. I just heard ancient priesthood. What is ancient priesthood? Yeah, somebody is very sensitive right now, though. And anytime there's a full moon and a water sign a lot of emotional bag that somebody is being um un undone and unraveled because of something that has hurt you if this isn't you this is someone in your life they're they're going through an unraveling seeing the truth though this seven of swords is not just like somebody doing something malicious to a part it's that has happened but what is hurtful now is the fact that someone they know who did it <clears throat> and i don't know because my throat keeps bothering i don't know if you or whoever this is related to if they're going to say anything i know a lot of the readings i've been getting lately it's like there's really no need for you to say anything the proof is going to be very clear in a situation i don't really think you have to say anything I feel like someone regrets not telling you the truth and they may want to say something to you. But somebody is so motivated to have love, to have this family, to, to celebrate, to be in this community. Somebody is, I'm telling you, it's, it's something I, I keep hearing. Well, I heard ancient priesthood. Somebody is ready to like really tap in to their higher self. Wow. <laughs> there you have it. The Emperor and the Four of Cups. So you have a masculine energy out here who was distracted before. Not anymore. This person is so determined now to have this wish fulfillment. I feel like this person is leaving a community behind. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's another card under here. The world. Yep. 
Yeah. Somebody here is leaving a community behind. Somebody here could be making a drastic change with their family. But the world card speaks of someone being very, somebody is so focused right now. So if you feel like a person is not hearing you, they're not understanding, because I'm hearing somebody say, I just can't get through to that person. There's a masculine here. This person, they're, they're more aware of things than you, you realize. And keep in mind, you guys, this is energy. This could be a masculine. Some of you, you know this person. Some of you, you don't know this person. This is simply giving you an energy update, a check-in of what is happening energetically. Some things that are happening energetically, you've not come into physical contact with these individuals. So I know that there is a lot going on with the retrograde energy. But as we hear about these positive shifts and changes, please try to stop referring to your past. I'm so tired of people in the comments saying, no, 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 never, never, never. But then they, in the next breath, want to know, well, where is new love? Well, you just cancel new love out because of what you will allow the power of your tongue to manifest, which is stuck, stagnant, past energy. Six of swords, release the baggage. Let something new come in. Because what's coming in is actually... <laughs> Nine of Cups, it's wish fulfillment. The King of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, my goodness, the Ace of Cups, and then the Moon. This Pisces Moon, someone is about to have a major awake, like emotional breakthrough. And then here's the Knight of Cups, wow. The freaking Lovers and the Six of Cups. Mm. Their ego death is happening. Somebody is 100% having an ego death whoever yeah eight of eight of one somebody is like whatever had me stuck um feeling like i just can't be happy or i won't ever have wish fulfillment they're coming out of that somebody now is they're they're sure you have the ace of swords and the ace of cups here with the moon so this is spirit saying yeah like literally the holy spirit with it's like yes the pisces moon someone is about to have of like a major revelation about love <clears throat> and here's the queen of wands with the three of pentacles here and we have the king of wands so there's two people who are very very passionate right now i feel about having wish fulfillment and then you have two nines nine nine is here and then you have the six of swords and the lovers and the six of cups so you have 666 here. I think in the reading yesterday, I had 6666, 66, 66, 66, and 88, 88. There's a lot of abundance here. Infinite abundance. But something here has to be balanced out. Again, the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. This is releasing memories from the past that no longer serve you. Okay, you could be feeling the thought like very nostalgic. So you may be remembering a time when you were very happy. <clears throat> the lovers is here there's about to be like something a major shift in relationships because someone is walking away from their ego they're leaving it behind <clears throat> I, I don't know what this is like somebody may have like a an outpour of emotions like somebody may just come out and just say like I, I love you or I, I don't know. Someone is going to admit some type of truth. If you know this person, if this person is in your life, of course, again, this could be a future prediction. Something is shifting, though, with this energy. Wow. It's two people here who are passionate about working on their selves and working together. Two people are recognizing their own gifts and talents, I feel. I feel like there's a divine feminine and masculine who are both awakening. Yeah, the nine of wands. This is being very resilient, preparing for the future, preparing for emotional fulfillment as well as financial ind like independence. The nine of pentacles is someone being very financially stable and independent. The nine of cups is wish fulfillment hopes and dreams but typically the nines are people who are single so again you have two people who are awakening i feel to a, a connection most likely 
and they're being very motivated right now to come together to have the Ten of Cups. This emperor here, this divine masculine, is, is about to complete a cycle completely where they've been distracted, self-absorbed, egotistical, um, overanalyzing situations, unhappy with their life or with their past. This person is about to get their life together and say, oh, okay, they're very motivated now to build the life, the love, the family, and receive the blessings that God has for them after releasing something. So someone here could have been dealing for a long time with like um, a heartbreak. Somebody here is letting go of control issues, the four of pentacles. This is the kind of person they're holding on very tightly to everything. They could be frugal, um, but this person fears change. And I feel strongly like someone has been very afraid of love and intimacy. And it's probably due to something that happened in their past. And now that this person is looking over a situation with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, they're seeing now who and what deceived them. But this person is also recognizing that they need to make a change in order for them to have victory and success look six of wands seven of wands wow is this a and the two of wands yeah so somebody here is working on their self-esteem and recognizing that they need to release their control issues someone is trying to control a lot of things in their life because they know that they've been in situations where they didn't have control and it led them down the wrong path but this person yeah somebody is, has is realizing that their resistance to change is hurting them. It's this masculine here. Because the divine feminine is not out here. Well, the divine feminine has this high priestess energy. So it's like divine feminine is like, well, they've already made it. Divine feminine is already aware of what they're trying to manifest. This masculine wants to manifest the same thing, but this masculine is going through an ego death. This person has a lot of control issues because they've been they've been tricked or they tricked themselves in the past. Some of, this person didn't with the how my throat is doing. This person didn't know how to stand up for themselves. They were just kind of going with the flow in a situation, possibly in with family or, or previous relationships and they're seeing now that they deceive themselves into thinking that something was good for them that wasn't but what it did is it ended up being like a very painful situation but now they're releasing it somebody's heart chakra is about to completely explode yeah and this person is determined now to make plans to partner up with someone in the future the, um, somebody is about to, I'm telling you if, you, if you know this person, you're about to see a major shift in your connection. This person is about to, how do people say, like woo you. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Somebody is coming in now. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah. So we're meant to work together. They see it. This person sees this magic in you and they're tapping into the magic that is within themselves after being very confused and in a mental imprisonment about the divine feminine. Eight of swords, seven of cups. This person was doubting themselves. This person also didn't understand how free will works. This is someone who is very controlled. Like everything with them is structured. It's all about control. They Capricorn like energy. They don't have to be a Capricorn, but very anal, very anal retina, very controlling, frugal, um, that usually is a sign of somebody who has been severely wounded and hurt at some point because this person is afraid of something going wrong because they feel like they've invested so much in taking a leap of faith. Wow. But the Ten of Pentacles is here. They don't want this person is a perfectionist. They don't want to make any mistakes, but they're choosing now. To assess and evaluate how something is. A lot of you, you, might, you, this feels like you know this person. They're looking at how a situation has been unfolding and how magical of a being you are. Or this is how you're seeing someone else. Like, wow, that person is incredible. This person now, they, they believe that you truly are exactly who you know yourself to be. And now they want long term. Ten of Pentacles. They're fully invested in this. 
Wow. This is really, really amazing to say the least. They they got it. They know. Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Lovers. This is someone from your past or a past life. But somebody is reflecting, and with this Mercury retrograde energy, I feel like what the 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 good thing about it is, somebody is looking over their past, and I feel like they're they're seeing they're like, wow, you're the best I've ever had. Or this has how you feel about somebody else. And this person's like, oh, you know, I really don't have to try to control this situation because it truly is an amazing, this is an incredible person. Everything in my life is, is going well since I met this person. Somebody is realizing like I can put my guard down. I don't have to keep fighting whoever this is. And they're becoming passionate and enthusiastic now about this spiritual awakening whatever someone is learning on their spiritual path that's changing their perspective is making them a lot more motivated about speeding up things this person is beginning to multitask somebody here could be very religious they're now like oh well let me work more on my relationship with god so they're becoming more spiritual they're learning about shadow work they're learning about healing they're seeing the truth about friends and family somebody here is is like really really deep in their um their spiritual awakening you have here balance which would be like sagittarius energy that yin and yang energy this is, to me i feel like this is two people mirroring each other it's like a twin flame kind of energy and then you have clarity of belief Choose your battles. Yeah. Somebody here is choosing their life path with solar plexus. And then, yeah, they're finding balance here. And they're manifesting new vitality. After feeling alone, somebody here is finally getting over a, a very bad heartbreak. They're ready to spread their wings. And they don't care what happens. They, they know that there is a chance that they could lose. But this person feels confident that this is a situation that is going to work in their favor. And then here you have 6-6 six, six, once again. 6 speaks of the past. Giving and receiving the third eye. This person is realizing that they've given to the wrong situations or this is you. Realizing that you've put a lot of effort. Here's another 6. I think this may be like a 6 of cups in this day. It's, it's love. It's true love. And look at that. What did I say? The heart chakra. Number nine, the hermit, Virgo. Somebody is going within and they're, they're really saying, they're like, wow, love abounds, flow. Just let it flow. Someone has been observing things and they're saying that, wow, I'm, I'm happy. But I feel like someone is, is afraid of happiness. Somebody was, was like honestly refusing to see or admit that they were happy. <laughs> Look at this. Refusing to see. Somebody was refusing to see love. They can't deny it anymore. They're like, yo, I'm I'm really in love. They're they're reflecting, observing, like what? What is this? Somebody cannot deny it. And now they're putting in this dedicated effort to really manifest this family. So for some of you, this is someone in your life. For some of you, you're gonna meet a person. And they've done so much shadow work and healing. When you meet them, this is the kind of person they're going to be ready. Like this is someone they want a courtship. They want to be very intentional now. Like this is someone that's like, listen, they will have their conversation. I'm not dating just today. I'm dating to marry. I'm, I'm serious. Wow. Yeah, this person is, they're not playing any games. There's dedicated effort. And it's because... You and someone else are mirroring each other. So if you're dedicated right now to your shadow work and healing, you're doing it. And it's so beautiful because that high priestess, divine feminine energy, which I talk about in being able to just receive, this is you having the type of self-worth and value. You're not trying to prove yourself to anybody. 
You're like, hey, I'm a divine feminine. I'm a divine masculine. You either see it or you don't. Somebody was refusing to, to see for a long time, though, that, they, that this was true love. I feel like somebody was thinking to themselves like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I just really like this person because I recently got out of something that was bad. But somebody is, is now realizing, like, I don't know if I'm going to find someone better, but I'm not interested in looking for anybody better. Something about you or whoever this person is, is truly has someone captivated. They're like, yeah, I'm clear on what this is. And they're not worried about any old outdated beliefs anymore. They're, they don't care about that. This person is finding balance because they're, they're finally doing things in a different way. So perhaps you're teaching this person something new. You're showing them something new. And they're like, this is, this is working for me. You know, how, how could I sit here and deny this? Everything that this person is teaching me or showing me is working. This is somebody who is so great. If this person is in your life, they are so grateful and appreciative of you. Like, seriously, they're like, I never thought my life could change like this. There's so much green here. Heart chakra energy. If somebody is so in love, I mean, like really in love. And I feel like this is a, I feel like this is a masculine. I feel like this is a very masculine, possibly like a real alpha masculine, super macho man. That's like, I am in love. This is, I think it's scaring this person. Honestly, they can't believe it. This person is like, wow. And I don't think this person went looking for you, but when this person found you, what happened is because you're a high priestess, divine feminine, now this person's third eye is opening up. They're seeing the truth about all kinds of stuff. I feel like somebody here, you could be teaching this person about manifestation because the high priestess is here with the magician. You may be teaching this person something about manifesting a passionate new beginning. And they're like, dang, like that really works. The sun, which is a card of success. They're like, huh? Whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, it's working. And it's not it's not something that they've done before. They're like, nobody, nobody taught me that before. Nobody showed me that. This this may at times feel like some kind of push and pull situation. October 6th could be significant. Flow. Just let the love. This person, look, this person's like, man. You guys are about to really see something different. And I feel like this person, for some of you, this is a very realistic type of reading. One, two, three is here. So something is, is lining up perfectly. But you may have the type of masculine here. You know, the, the emperor, sometimes if they're not in their highest vibration, they can be very, they can come off a little bit immature. And they can have a really big ego. This could have been the type of person who, like I said, is easily self-absorbed or they just feel like there's nobody good enough or whatever. I feel like as a divine feminine for a lot of you, you you know how to choose your battles. You're like, listen, if you feel like you can't find a, a, a person that's great, that's on you. But where so many people fail these type of tests, karmic tests is a lot of men and women, they will go out of their way to prove themselves. This divine masculine is very impressed with the fact that this divine feminine is not trying to prove themselves. They're like, wow, you're not trying to bow down to me? It's like, no, for what? Bow down to you for what? Somebody's like, I'm a, I'm a whole high priestess. A high priestess and an emperor? <laughs> emperor, you bow down to the high priestess. I mean, I don't think anybody needs to bow down to anybody but the emperor. You have to absolutely respect the high priestess. The high priestess can tell you all kinds of things about you, your business, your family. And I feel like that's what's happening. You have a high priestess that's telling an emperor, listen, the reason why you're unhappy, the reason why... You're not elevating in life is because of A through Z. 
And this person is like, wow, this is someone who is shocked at the fact that someone is coming in being truthful and honest with them about themselves and introducing them to shadow work, healing and manifestation. This is I'm picking up on a very, very masculine type of person. Someone very like to be honest, closed minded, they're four pinnacles, closed minded. They can be a little bit frugal. This is the kind of person who can have plenty of money, but they won't give it to anybody. And this person has a lot of deep, deep, like trust issues. To be honest, this person with the four of pentacles, this person could have taken a huge financial loss or they're afraid to take a financial loss. But it's sort of like a poverty mindset. This person is afraid to be vulnerable. This is the kind of person that feels like, I don't ever need to focus on love. And now they're realizing, hmm, the more that their heart opens, the money is flowing in. I'm hearing somebody, because I've, I've even said this to people. I say this on the channel all the time. If your money is blocked, check your heart. People love to say, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. Are you? How heavy is your heart? Somebody here has a very heavy heart because of things that they've seen, that they've been through. They could be going through karma. And because of their heart blockage, their money and, and the type of success that they want is blocked. Now that love is coming to the life, this high priestess is bringing this son into this person's life. Their pentacles are growing and they're like, oh, okay. This person now is beginning to see a windfall come in that they haven't seen before or they haven't seen it in a long time. But see, again, you have to choose your battles with this type of person. This is someone who they require a lot of patience because they sit back and they will observe you for a long time. This is someone who they don't they don't trust easily. And this could be you as well. You and this person have possibly gone through something very similar. You and this person, you, you don't really trust easily. But I feel like divine feminine being in that true divine feminine energy is like, well, you know, I'm protected, so if it if it doesn't go well, it's okay. But if it does, that's okay too. You're not trying to by letting go of control in this situation is how you win and understanding while cutting this deck. I see um divine union. There's no need to try to control the situation because it's most likely leading to a divine union. What did I say earlier? I swear I said this person wants to court you. Courting. This is the kind of person that's like, no, I want deeper intimacy. They want a courtship. They want to date intentionally. This is not going to be like a strictly sexual like situation. This is not someone that wants to be in and out. No, this is someone that's like, listen, I already know that for me to prosper in life, I need your energy. And I don't mean in an energy vampire type of way. I'm saying this person's like, listen, we really can help balance one another out. You're the the yin to my yang like energy. Wow. For some of you, this is true, true love. Soulmate. This is true love for some of you. Wow. Divine union. So this is like an intentional relationship of courtship. This it's going to lead to a divine union, most likely. Magnetic souls. Wow. Wow. This says your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. This person, they, they want it all with you. But this Emperor Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, it may look like this person is not interested in you at all. On the inside, they they dream about you. They fantasize about you. <laughs> I just look down. They dream and fantasize about you constantly. And they want this dream to come true. Wow. Oh my goodness. How sweet. Okay, Pisces, full moon. Coming through with the emotions and the spiritual awakening. <laughs> This is adorable. Let's see. It says, wait, the timing is not right. Okay. So this may be something, it's true love, but it requires patience. 
one of you or both of you could still be in recovery. You're releasing something. But see, you need to allow this person or this is you. You need to allow yourself or allow this person or both of you allow this to unfold naturally. You're releasing outdated beliefs. You're releasing anger, resentment, sadness, and grief from past situations. Your energy is being cleared for this connection. Yeah, it's safe for you to trust. This is a situation that you can trust. And I say all the time, that healthy relationship that comes after that 10 year, the seven to 10 years of karmic relationships, that may be one of your, your most beautiful, but it will for sure be one of your hardest relationships because many of you now, you're going to have to relearn love. You associate love with pain. You associate peace with chaos. Your fears are being triggered because when you get into a peaceful situation, it's almost like you're sitting back like, uh-uh, you're waiting on the drama. You don't trust healthy, happy, harmonious love. You don't trust it because you're so used to being in flight or fight mode all the time. You stay in fight mode. And you could be dealing with a person like that as well. This person is always in survival mode. So this whole feeling at peace and like, oh, I can let my guard down. You know, we're not arguing. We can have like a peaceful resolution. This is scary to a person because what it will make any person do is reflect like, wow, why did I spend so many years arguing with people? Why was all those other situations so difficult? And then you start to realize that you were with the wrong people. You start to realize that you had the, the wrong mindset. So it's a huge awakening coming because of someone having real love for the first, like somebody could have thought they was in love many, many times, but now they're like, mm, I don't know what that was because whatever this is, oh, it's the, it's the real deal. Yeah. You've learned a spiritual lesson here. Mastery. This connection helps you to master yourself, especially when like with that Pisces full moon energy and the emotions being out here, being overly emotional, not making decisions, not knowing how to pick and choose your battles, being quick to to anger, being quick to walk away or whatever. Yeah, denial. Someone was in denial for a long time about the fact that they do have deep rooted trust issues. This may be a situation too with someone, like I said, don't ever be afraid to detach. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. It's time for you to detach and see that things in the past weren't actually for you. Things from your past, it's okay to let it go because it was, it was a lesson that you needed to prepare you for the person that you can spend the rest of your life with. But some of you, some people are still kind of at a crossroads like, should I move forward? Should I go back? Like... And at the first sign of any type of issue, you some of you, you run. Soulmates and twin flames don't have to be hard connections. They're, the, the, the thing that, that I hate about like the tarot community when they speak about twin flames is they, they speak so much about all of these just awful, awful situations. And what I hear a lot of times is it's, it's really karmic situations. Twin flame, to me, okay, this is my opinion, and you don't have to agree. Twin flame connections are so, so difficult because of how they force you to face yourself and learn. I feel like when you meet your twin flame, it is literally your other half standing in front of you. It is your weakness. It is your shadow standing for That has nothing to do with people lying, cheating, doing black magic no twin flame is a person that is going to guide you to your higher self and they don't have to traumatize you on that journey i feel like a twin flame connection for a lot it's a person that comes into your life when you usually when you've actually gone through a lot of trauma and you're finally out of your south node and you're going into your north node that's why when Readers always refer to a twin as someone from the past. I don't know why everyone takes this whole 
you know, you meet your twin flame when you were 12 years old and you spend the rest of your life waiting on them. I don't, I don't believe that. I mean, it can happen to some people, but seasoned love, like the love when somebody has been through the fire and they meet somebody else that's been through the fire and they're so sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting it wrong with other people and they really want to get it right with each other. Yeah, that's real. People who understand self-awareness and self-care, those are the kind of people who should go towards marriage. All of this baby mama, baby daddy, da 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 that, that's a bunch of karmic bullcrap. And I'm not trying to minimize anyone's situation because everyone's situation is different. I'm just saying a lot of people are forcing situations that aren't actually meant to be because there are there are lessons that people are failing to master therefore that energy is still present in your life because the truth is once you learn certain lessons people will pretty much that they will leave your life or you will walk away from them something here is faded This relationship can stand the um, test of time. This could be something where there's a second chance. So, you know, maybe at some point you and this person, you weren't on the same page. This could be someone that comes into your life and, and it could be like, oh, I'm, I'm not really looking for anything serious. And then when this person realizes how you think and you realize how they think, you're like, oh, on second thought, I think I am ready for something serious. It doesn't have to be someone from your past, like I said, that you have a bunch of drama with you're 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 recovering from that now but please don't think that when your soulmate or your twin flame comes into your life that it's a situation that's perfect none of these situations are perfect when people are choosing to have spiritual divine unions because you're always going to be shedding you're always healing you're always growing and evolving and it's difficult. It doesn't have to be painful, but it is difficult. Know the difference between something that is painful that's helping you to evolve and something that is difficult that just keeps you pretty much in this ongoing just battle really with yourself. Something here is so, so beautiful though, and it is 100% faded. Chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. Wow, here and now, <laughs> new love and protected. So for some of you, this person is in your life or they are very, very close. Whatever this connection is, though, it's protected. You are protected. You don't have to keep worrying that you're going to run into a monster. If you've already paid your karmic debts and have put in your time in karmic land, you should be able to trust now that you can go into a healthy connection. And this could have been something that started out casual. You and this person could have been on different pages. You could have met somebody that was a workaholic or you were a workaholic. And you were like, listen, I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm focusing on business right now. I'm focused on, you know, you had a bunch of boundaries. Listen, I feel like somebody here was for sure saying, I do not want a relationship. I don't want a relationship. And you're kind of falling into this like, whoa, you're right. I don't want a relationship. I want a full blown. Somebody's like, I don't want a relationship. I want a full blown marriage. Somebody here is going to skip a lot of the dating, uh, courting. This is somebody that's going to, they're, they're dating, they're courting you with the intention to marry you. There is no, there won't be any game playing here. This is not somebody you have to go through like all these different obstacle courses with. I feel like there are situations that will be presented where, yeah, it requires patience and you picking and choosing your battles wisely. But this person is someone who will protect your heart through whatever you go through. And I want to say that's something that a lot of people don't pay attention to in some of these situations that they consider to be twin flames or soulmates. Did that person protect your heart? When that person went out and they decided to pick somebody else over you, were they thinking about your heart? When that person just made lifestyle changes, they moved away or they moved in with another person and they had children with other people, 
or whatever they rejected you were they were they ever thinking about your heart some of you like are really going to have to understand that their rejection was truly protection you should be passionate now about who you've become as a person and passionate about finding love with somebody that actually wants a divine union. I know Mercury Retrograde is here, but how many of your exes are still calling you and they're still in relationships and they still want to have these, you know, strictly sexual relationships with you. You're on different pages. You know, it's not in alignment with your morals and your values, but all you can go off of is the chemistry. Let's talk about that too. When it comes to healthy love, it's not always Marvin Gaye and lingerie. It's not. Sometimes healthy love looks, it looks a little boring to you, but is that person there, are they guarding your heart? Are they there to protect you? Do they want to provide for you? It's really sad, but a lot of people who have been on this journey are so accustomed to being hurt that when somebody comes in and they're healthy, you really don't know how to handle it. Because I'm telling you, I see in the comments, Every single, I guarantee you this reading, the comments will be spammed with everybody talking about their past. That person can never come back. I would never, I would never. And it's like, did it ever cross your mind that maybe we are not talking about the past and that maybe you're holding on to the past so much that that's the reason why readings never come out about new love. And even when they do, you always find it in your own heart and mind to go back to the past, that says you haven't healed from the past. I can look at readings now, even as a reader, and when I pick up an energy of the past, I can click off. Or I can hear somebody talking about a masculine in a reading, and I can quickly say, hmm, that'll let me know, oh, well, when I meet a, when I meet a new person, that person may have some trust issues. But I'm not like, oh, my ex better not call me. Da, da, da. For what? <laughs> Why give it that kind of energy? If you block that person, block them. If you're done, be done. Be better. Never be bitter. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go into a divine union being in this energy of, of being resentful because somebody rejected you in the past. When God is saying their rejection was was to protect you, their rejection was to protect you and make sure that you got to a person who was best, better for you. It's all about perspective. But whatever this is, it's amazing. So please, it's like, please don't don't mess this up. Please <laughs> do not mess this up because it is amazing. And I, I will say, I feel like this person and you are a little rough around the edges because, yeah, you've been hurt. You've been hurt. This person is, is redirecting in life, though. Someone's solar plexus and heart chakra is on fire. Somebody's like, wow. They're getting clarity now about how love really changes things. This person is seeing now all of the things that they were refusing to see before. They see it now. And now they're ready to make this dedicated effort to manifesting something real, something true, something long term. This for some of you, this could be someone from your past. This coming back change for some of you it's it's a new person. And, and you didn't have intentions for this to turn into anything serious. That's really what I'm getting. I, I'm getting there for some of you. You met someone you guys may have been hanging out and you were so stuck on i'm not looking for anything but it's like literally your ideal person is right there in your face like under your nose literally your ten of cups page of cups this is that i'm not looking for anything because the ten of swords i just got out of something really bad so i'm not looking for anything why wow, give the, give this a chance allow yourself to celebrate Make a decision to release the things that hurt you, the chariot, so that you can move forward. Because the world is here. There's an opportunity to be 
accomplish to celebrate, to be happy, to have things in your life be organized, structured, for you to be an actual leader. The emperor and the high priestess. I have readings from last year about the emperor and the high priestess. This energy has been coming out. For, so for some of you, you've been manifesting this for a long time. I, I can remember the time I channeled about the emperor and the high priestess coming together. These two people are very different. This emperor is teaching this high priestess how to be more dedicated and structured. This high priestess is teaching this emperor how to release control. Together, they are a perfect match. In the spirit, they are a perfect match. The 3D world, they live a very different type of life, but they can manifest so much together. These two people, there is nothing that they cannot create together. They literally can have... Like, they can change the world if they want to. And all of these cards are purple. Okay? Third eye. Purple. Third eye energy. Um, crown chakra. Like, magic. And purple. This is like a royal divine couple. That, that they, They're destined to manifest a lot. And those who want to have children... This emperor and high priestess has a child. The ace of wands can definitely be a card. And I just look down. <laughs> Sexual healing. If these two people have a child, you're talking about a, a child that will grow up to change the world. This child will be so gifted, so creative. Because this child is going to be a combination of these two people. This amazing but this for a lot of you is your life partner that's coming in yeah or they're in your life and now they're about to tell you that they're ready for love so this is like some type of casual situation that's about to turn into a full-blown divine union because you and this person you have some kind of contract together yeah it says your true love is already part of your life they're here already so somebody that you're supposed to marry is already in your life it does not have to be the past person that you just cannot stand this could be a friend a long lost friend whoever but this person they're already in your life or they're in your energy wow the lovers it's a contract here between you and this person this is a past life lover You've manifested this person because you've remained hopeful about marriage. Even after this illusion has been sent to you that you need to pretty much just give up on the idea of having true love. This right here is going to restore your hope and your faith in love and marriage. Wow. This is so, so beautiful. You should be so proud of yourself if you got into this, this point. I always say you have to love like you've never been hurt before. Somebody in this connection that's coming together, they've really struggled. I think it's been harder for one, you know, let me say this. Men, once a man gets his heart broken, they, they really break bad. It's very, very hard for men to open their hearts up when... They have had their ego severely bruised. This person is someone who probably thought that they would never love again. They're falling madly in love with this, this high priestess. This high priestess is extremely wise. And it kind of goes back to like the old school relationships. This high priestess is a type of feminine that, like I said, they're like, well, you take it or you leave it. But this is someone that knows their worth. They're standing in their power. This is a person, this high priestess, divine, they know their role. It's not for me to control this person. That's what you do in a, in a distorted feminine or karmic energy. You're going to overcompensate and overgive and 
over manipulate the situation because you want to be chosen. The high priest is, is so wise. They know that the way to be chosen is to step into your divinity and understand that you are chosen. Without anybody choosing you, you are chosen. This is someone that's living the lifestyle of a chosen divine being. So naturally, they're going to attract the same thing. Let's pull a few of these and then I'll be done. I just saw home, sweet home. Yeah, somebody is going home to their counterpart. And that could be someone brand new. <laughs> your souls, your hearts are home to each other. Wow, dream come true. <laughs> and divine timing. Onward and up. And what I say, lightheartedness, blessing in disguise, collaboration, expansion. Yeah. You're moving into a higher level of consciousness and awareness. Therefore, now you're about to attract people for you to collaborate with grow and build with because there's new opportunities so these new opportunities what god is saying is that it's time for you to have a partner you need a partner because you're about to go into a lot of different partnerships in your life but you have to be lighthearted so that you can tap into your inner child so that you can get back to being creative instead of being angry because you've been hurt Something here is a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing that a certain situation in your life or several situations didn't work out. But for some of you too, your blessing is 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 very close to you and it's being disguised. You think that something is just another lesson, but no. This card says you are being asked not to prejudge your current set of circumstances. Some of you too, you will meet people and it's not perfect because I saw that perfectionist card earlier. You will pass up on that person. But see, do you know how to actually look at a person's character instead of only circumstances and conditions? A lot of y'all listen to readings especially and you're looking for this, this wealthy person to just pop up. What if I told you that the person will become wealthy once they get with you or you will become wealthy when you meet that person? Because the two of you are going to collaborate on something together and then grow and expand. Everybody is looking for somebody that's already put together and then you wonder why, why you're not finding them. Because there are no perfect people who exist. Something is supposed to happen in divine timing and it's going to be a dream come true. But you have to stay true to yourself and your heart's desire. The high priestess. Being mysterious and modest, knowing that you deserve the best and not accepting anything less, but not doing it from a place of ego. 